Incredible. Night vision for under $40 that lets you see in complete pitch black darkness. These binoculars let you see anything, even in pitch black darkness. Gotcha. Well, that's what the makers of the As Seen on TV Atomic Beam Night Hero Binoculars will have you believe. But before you rush out to buy a pair, just spare a few moments to take a look at my thoughts on them. Coming right up. Apparently, the secret source is the powerful wide-angle atomic beam laser that can reveal objects up to 150 yards away in complete darkness. Hello and welcome to Best Monoc Reviews. My name is Jason and today we're going to be taking a look at the Atomic Beam Night Hero Binoculars and discovering whether the fantastical claims that they make can actually be true. And indeed, if they're not true, what is the real solution to low-cost night vision? So what exactly is the Atomic Beam Night Hero and how does it work? Well, once I got past all the marketing talk and took a closer look at the actual specifications and details, I soon discovered that the Night Hero is just a standard daytime 10 by 30 roof prism binocular with a green laser bolted onto it. Nothing more. The fancy Atomic Beam Laser Emitter simply acts like a torch by lighting up an area in front of you, which like any torch does, it helps you to see in the dark. Except if you think about it, you are not really seeing in the dark. You're actually seeing a small area that has been illuminated by a green laser light. Indeed, a small but powerful torch beam would almost certainly be more effective than this kind of weak laser light. But hey, white light is nowhere near as cool as green. The fact that the light is green is great for marketing, as it resembles the green image that we have become accustomed to seeing when we see night vision footage on the TV. However, in this case, it is not caused by a green laser. Rather, it is green because of the devices have a special phosphor screen in them. This is used to project an image created by the collected light that has been converted into electrons and then amplified. As with the Night Hero, real night vision devices also use a light emitter that enables them to see in complete darkness. However, there's a big difference. The emitter that they use sends out infrared light and not just the laser light. Here, infrared is completely invisible to the naked eye. But the night vision binocular is able to use that light just like a torch and completely light up the screen in front of you. The problem with the green laser light on the night hero is it's not invisible to people or animals. So once you shine it onto them, they're going to become startled and either you know run away or you know perhaps even attack you. Okay, so what about the rest of the binocular? If we take a look at the 10 by 30 configuration, this means they have a 10 times magnification and 30 millimeter diameter objective lenses. This is perfectly fine for daytime use. But if you want a binocular that performs well in low light, you need large lenses. Just like the windows in your house, larger lenses can collect and let in more light than smaller ones. Your typical standard daytime binocular has 42 millimeter objective lenses, and this gives them an average low light ability, depending on the magnification. Whilst binoculars specifically designed to work well in low light have much larger than this. For example, the excellent Steiner 900 8x56 binoculars has large 56 millimeter lenses. Going even further on, binoculars specifically designed for astronomy can often use lenses between 70 and 100 millimeters in diameter. This helps them collect as much of the available light as possible, but it obviously also makes them a much larger and heavier device. Thus, at only 30 millimeters in diameter, I would say that these night hero binoculars are most certainly not ideal for low light, never mind nighttime use. So when you consider this, and the fact that they use a relatively weak green laser light, I can guarantee that there is no way that you will be able to achieve the level of clarity and brightness at night time as what they suggest is possible on their publicity images and videos. So there you have it. Honestly, these atomic beam night hero binoculars are nothing more than a con. Have you used these or any other really cheap so-called night vision binoculars? 
And what do you think of companies like this and their wild marketing claims? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below. So what's the alternative? Well, whilst you will need to spend a little more than the $40 it costs to buy the Nigeria, you don't have to break the bank. There are three main options available. Firstly, you get the traditional devices that collect the available light in the form of photons. These are then converted into electrons, amplified and projected onto a phosphor screen. The second and generally cheaper option is to use a digital night vision device. The advantage here is that not only is it often less expensive than the phosphor screen devices, but it makes it much easier to record what you are looking at. Lastly, you get thermal night vision devices. They work best when viewing objects that are drastically different in temperature to their surroundings, like animals and people, and which is why they are often popular with the military, security services, and hunters. Be sure to check out the links down below in the description that will take you through to the BBR website, where I have far more detailed information and hands-on reviews on all these types of real night vision devices. Well, there you have it. I do hope that this video has been of use and of interest to you. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, as this will really help both me and my channel to bring you more and more content in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Cheers for now.